everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today we'll be doing another book review. This is entitled Entreat Me, written by Grace Stratton. If you're new to my channel, you've never, ever, ever had uh, or watched any of my um, book reviews. What happens is I give you information from goodreads.com and then we're going to go from there. So this is rated 4.04 out of 5 stars. This is, I think, I'm not sure, but it's not the first book from Grace Stratton I've ever read. And I got really, really curious because I enjoyed um, the Ray, Wraith Kings um, series. And so I thought I'd give this a shot. So I did. And um, so rated 4.0 4 to 5 stars. Genres belong to fantasy, romance, fantasy, romance, retelling, magic, beauty and the beast, adult, fairy tales, paranormal, paranormal romance. Um, just because it's paranormal romance, it doesn't really mean that it has um, spirits or ghosts in there because sometimes they can really do that. So I'm just trying to clarify there because I cannot read any anything that has um, spirits or ghosts. Uh, same with um, like historical historical fiction. Usually, um, it's really hard for me to to get into that. So I like it will be. I will not read that book. So it says here, afflicted by a centuries-old curse, a warlord slowly surrenders his humanity and descends toward madness. Ballard of Ketak, Tor, holds no hope of escaping his faith and fate until his son returns home one day. Accompanied by a woman of incomparable beauty, his family believes her arrival may herald Ballard's salvation until they confront her elder sister. Determined to rescue her sibling from ruin, Louvain Duenda pursues her to a decrepit castle and discovered the household been imprisoned in time. Dark magic, threatening sorcerers, and a malevolent cl climbing rose with a thirst for blood won't deter her. But a proud man disfigured by an undying hatred might. Louvain must decide if loving him will ultimately save him or destroy him. I, you know, the, the, um, I'm sorry, before I forget, this was a first published back in December 18, 2013. Um, you know what I really, really love about how Grace Draven writes is that it's just, it's very, um, it's very descriptive. It's very, it just makes me feel like I'm right there. I'm right, like, I'm next to, next to the character. I'm like a fly on a wall. It is, it is so detailed. It is just mesmerizing to read when I first actually read this um, or got even got the book I didn't even know this was a retelling of Beauty and the Beast I just um, I just fell in love with Grace Draven's writing and I tried as much as possible to acquire as many books as I could and this is one of them and um, it wasn't until right now it's like a retelling and I didn't even know that I do enjoy retellings from time to time if it's made really really well so um this was really good like there are some moments i was like laughing really hard it, it's just she just she just knows how to write it's just beautiful um so this is like uh this is not contemporary if you if you don't know that i'm letting you know that it's not contemporary at all this is supposedly based in a different time that's why it's like a, it, that's why it says it's got fantasy in it it's in a time where people had to hunt for food that's the kind of um that's the kind of um time frame we're looking at that's the kind of period we're looking at and this is gonna be a spoiler but there's gonna be a, the reason I say that is I'm reminded of um, a specific incident in the book where they were talking about how they dealt with after a hunt and it was so beautifully done I was in awe of of the, just the amount of research she did the way she, she wrote it was just beautiful on uh, after a hunt what do they do you know the the manner the hunters what they did before the hunt what they did after the hunt and what the the staff or the women or whoever was left that was not a part of the hunt does with this with the spoils so that was very intriguing for me because I have no idea anything about hunting and what you do when you're hunting or after you're hunting and stuff like that so this was very um it was very enlightening for me um this this was really a treat 
I enjoyed this just like the other books that I read from Grace Travin and um, I give this a five out of five stars a two thumbs up I just I love her work so far and I'm not disappointed in any way I just kind of wish like I don't know maybe I'm just really greedy and selfish but I just kind of wish like she had 50 other books <laughs> I know, like, that's that's so mean of me to say, but I do wish she had more books so that I could selfishly acquire them and read them and enjoy. Um, if there are other uh, retellings, other books that are retellings of other, you know, stories that we've heard since we were children, let me know down in the comment section below. If you've read this and you want to share your opinion on it, let me know down in the comment section below too. It doesn't matter if we agree or disagree. I would like to know how, how it how it was for you for this book. Um, I, um, like I said, I can't really read certain genres like historical fiction and um, I can read horror, but not with spirits or like with ghosts. So other than that, if you guys have other suggestions in this um, caliber writing, let me know down in the comment section below. Everybody who has reached out and either commented on my channel or my Instagram or um, Facebook or sent me emails, thank you so much for the wonderful, wonderful, beautiful words and the support. I appreciate you so much. And um, if there's anything else, comment section below. Also, where you can find this and where you can connect with me with my other social media accounts including Goodreads, it's in the description section, so please check it out where you can get this as um, also anything else that I can add, like discount codes, coupon codes, free stuff, it'll always be linked down below if I do have those. So always check that out because if I do have those, you know, I wouldn't want anybody to miss out on something like a great deal. Thank you everyone and I will see you again next time. Bye!